this is life and enterprise management. And so as a result, we want to make sure we work on both. We want to create a system that allows you to succeed in both areas, life and your enterprise. So what I want to really make sure that comes out of this is an evaluation of what your real gifts are that are going to fulfill you. Because many of you are living a script around your life that involves having an enterprise when really that may not be your true nature. That's not to say you can't do it. It just means you can do it and you'll be stressed out of your life, stressed out of your mind. And so one of the things we want to find out is how much of that is natural as a problem, how much of that is maybe unnatural. Unnatural meaning you're, creating, you're having problems right now that you shouldn't be having at this stage of development. The most important element is for you to be able to do this, to be able to establish, most importantly, where you really are in your life today. Where are you? And where do you really want to go? What's going to create this extraordinary life? Because some of you right now, if you continue the direction you're going, are going to be successful and unfulfilled, unhappy, and stressed. Because once we get you know, into a dream, then that dream starts to take on a life of its own. It gives us juice, it gives us energy. But how many of you ever got the dream, achieved your goal, and then thought, is this all there is? How many have had this experience? Say, I. That's more painful than not even achieving it. Because now you've done everything, you've worked it out, and you're successful, and you're not happy. So for some of you, you're going to need to take a look at that. Michael Gerber, the guy that wrote the E-Myth, you know, talks about why so many businesses, young businesses fail. And one of the things he says is most people are not really entrepreneurs, but they think that's what they should be. They think that's the sexy thing. That's the most attractive thing. That's the best answer. And what I say to you is you've got to separate the vehicle from the outcome. What is it that's going to truly fulfill you? What is it that's going to give you that extraordinary life? What's going to make things magnificent on your terms, not somebody else's terms, not your father, your mother, your background? What is that really? Separate the vehicle, because there's many ways to get to that vehicle. But I'm saying, sometimes you've got to reevaluate what's going to really make you fulfilled. What is your gift? Are you an artist? Are you the talent that can produce something no one else produces as a skill or a product or a service or some impact? Are you incredibly good at management? You really know how to manage or lead people. Are you an extraordinary entrepreneur that has, can take that gigantic gut load of risk and can create the vision and attract the talent that you need and the managers and leaders? You may have all three abilities, but which one really fulfills you the most is going to be the critical question. Because we tend to want to do them all, especially in a room like this, because you're all overachievers, right? Me too. And you say, well, I can do all these. Yes, you can, but what will it do to your quality of life? See, again, the secret's going to be this. What is an extraordinary life on your terms today? Getting clear about that. At this stage of life, where you are, where you want to go. At some level, you have a blueprint, a mindset, a belief system, a philosophy, a set of values that says, if I master this thing called my life or my enterprise, then I'll have this great feeling. But what's really interesting about life I believe that extraordinary life, however you define it, has two master skills to it. The first skill is the science of achievement. Most of you in this room have achieved enormously at various levels of business or as an individual artist or talent or as an entrepreneur or as a manager or leader or as an investor. I mean, everybody in this room, most of you in this room, have really hit the jackpot by most of the world's standards, even though most of you think it's still not enough. But the science of achievement is a skill. It is a science. There are laws. So achievement, even this course, to me, that achievement is, you know, business is a spiritual game. That's what I believe. It's a spiritual practice. A lot of people think it's business. Oh, that's money. That's this horrible thing over there. And that's one of the reasons that they never get really passionate about it. I'm a very spiritually driven, purpose-driven man. But the reason I love business is I see business as the ability to take the invisible and make it visible. I think that is what spirituality and creation is. It's about how can I find the gift I have to give the world? And how can I give it in a way that truly adds value? Not, I think, adds value, but the people receiving it, they vote with their feet and say, this truly makes a difference in my life. This is something I value. And then you know because they become a customer again. You know because they're thrilled with it. You know because they become a raving fan, not just a satisfied customer. Satisfied customers will leave you. Raving fans will stick with you.